Unrest at a Shanghai factory. Shanghai discards relief supplies. China censors new American films. More spent on nucleic acid testing than the military. Hello and welcome to Sound of Hope News. I am Liam O'Neill. Today is May 10th. Thousands of employees in a Da Feng electronics factory rushed through a gated door, causing big commotions on the evening of May 5th. In this video, we see hundreds of young employees trying to get to their dormitories. Da Feng Electronics is located in Shanghai and the people there are sensitive after lockdown experiences. All last month, Da Feng had been fully closed. Several days ago, it partially opened. However, workers are ordered to live in the factory full-time, sleeping in factory dorms. Social media posts described this unrest as a result of general frustration of the conditions there. There is also fear that if restrictions change, workers could be locked inside without food or necessities, as witnessed elsewhere in Shanghai. Netizens further commented that the epidemic controls in Shanghai have left a serious mental damage on people. Dafeng Electronics is part of Apple's laptop supply chain. The unrest here is only one example of how international supply chains are being affected by the CCP's tough lockdown measures. Disruptions in supplies, logistics, transportation, and now even the mental health are all factors. Many foreign firms in Shanghai remain closed. Nearly two-thirds of Japanese factories have yet to resume production. Despite growing discontent, Xi Jinping on Thursday once again demanded that the country stay on track towards the zero COVID goal. Since Shanghai's lockdown began in late March, many neighboring regions have sent relief. CCTV reported that 25 million tons of aid reached Shanghai. That would be an average of about one ton per person. But social media suggests a different story. Many clips show people starving and other tragedies. A Shanghai resident informed Sound of Hope that the government had dumped vegetables in a refrigerated bunker in the Baoshan district of Shanghai rather than distribute them. This video shows a warehouse full of vegetables being discarded. The labels on the boxes indicate that they have been shipped from nearby cities. The recorder of this video says they're just letting it rot instead of letting us eat it. It's too unfair. It's all good stuff, but they're throwing it away. What a pity. Another Shanghai resident caught the neighborhood committee burning supplies. Ms. Tian from Baoshan district of Shanghai told our reporter, the neighborhood committee has plenty of supplies. If they had distributed them to the people, we would be grateful, but instead they keep them, let them rot or throw them away. We're being forced to buy expensive supplies. She continued, people are clearly making profits. If the pandemic ends and food prices return to normal, who will buy the expensive ones? The pandemic may never end. Currently, there are three U.S. films being silenced by the Chinese Communist Party. CCP regulations are forcing U.S. filmmakers to make movies that please Beijing, or they will lose that market. The latest film to be banned, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The reason for the ban? For a few brief seconds, a yellow Epoch Times newsstand appears during a fight scene. The Epoch Times is a multi-language publication that covers current affairs in China, including the CCP's human rights violations against ethnic minorities and religious groups. It also covers Beijing's influence overseas. The Epoch Times is one of many Western media outlets and social media platforms censored in China. 
According to a Voice of America report, the spokesperson of the Chinese embassy in Washington, D.C., Liu Pengyu, said, quote, as a country under the rule of law, China regulates the film industry in accordance with the film administration regulations. Liu Pengyu did not describe the process in detail. And yet, because of a single scene, the entire film is censored. The Chinese regime has also cracked down on the Walt Disney Company and other movies from Marvel Studios. In 2021, Sony Pictures struggled with the release of its new Marvel film, Spider-Man No Way Home. In that film, Puck News reports that the regulators had asked Sony to remove or minimize images of the Statue of Liberty at the film's ending. Spider-Man fans will know that the statue has a big role in the Marvel film, so Marvel refused to remove it. On the other hand, producers of the American action film Red Dawn were afraid of losing the billion-dollar box office in China, so they decided to alter their film. They changed the enemy army from Chinese to North Koreans, and they also swapped Chinese flags and insignia for North Korean ones. In another case, the 2019 trailer of Top Gun, Maverick, removed the Taiwanese flag. It was on the leather jacket worn by Tom Cruise's character, naval aviator Pete Maverick Mitchell. The reason the flag was deleted is because the Chinese regime, of course, sees Taiwan as a breakaway province, not an independent country. Top Gun will be released on May 27th in the United States. Chris Fenton, author of Feeding the Dragon, Inside the Trillion Dollar Dilemma Facing Hollywood, the NBA, and American Business, he said in an interview with Epic TV's China Insider program, quote, the Chinese government never fully tells you why they're penalizing a company. In fact, a lot of it is speculation, and quite frankly, it is that speculation that creates a wider net of self-censorship because you're never sure exactly what they're mad at. With every lockdown in China, universal nucleic acid testing is the norm. Many Chinese cities require proof of nucleic acid testing within 48 hours for people to travel on public transportation and even go to the supermarket, even if there are no cases in that city. Some analysts estimate that the cost of nucleic acid testing in China's first and second tier cities is as high as 1.7 trillion renminbi per year. Chief macro analyst at Suzhou Securities, Tao Chuan, recently published a report on the economic cost of normalized nucleic acid testing in China. Based on the unit price of nucleic acid testing in mainland China, the report estimates that if all first and second tier cities in China were to implement normalized testing, the monthly cost would be renminbi 143.6 billion. If extended for 12 months, this would represent 1.5% of China's nominal GDP. This is already higher than the 2021 military expenditure. That is 1.37 trillion. Tao Chuan further states that even though the cost of testing is so high, it is still far less than the economic loss caused by city closures. That's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us once again. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and get more updated Chinese news from Sound of Hope.